As a psychologist, Shika Haripal helps youngsters to find their way in life. And as a Kathak dance teacher, she guides aspiring performers to express their own creativity. At the same time, she also strives to keep in touch with her own inner guide. And she does this through dance, as she explained to Kriya. Kathak is a style of Indian classical dance with a strong narrative element. As the founder of the Darpan Dance Studio, Shika Haripal guides his students in the art of telling the ancient tales through movement and gesture. But for this solo performance, the teacher herself would be the bard. Dance as an art form takes years of practice and dedication to perfect, and Shrika Haripal has done just that. She's opened her very own dance school in Johannesburg and has shown that she really is a guru of the Kathak art form. Today she's doing a solo performance at Theatre on the Square and we get to spend a little bit of time with her. Shika was taking a brief break in rehearsals. Shika Didi, how are you? Nice to see how are you? Very well, and yourself? You look like you are running around craziness. What is going on at the moment? Yes, it's show business. I am glad today's here to stage Atman the Search. It's based on a beautiful spiritual journey that started from a search that led to dance. And through my guru, Shri Manesh Maharaj, Kathak has given me more than just a few dance steps or opportunity to be on stage, but it's been a soul search just to experience the world in a different way and to give back. That's the most important. Well, I definitely don't want to keep you for much longer. I know you want to do a couple of rehearsals. Shall we get to stage? Yes, let's go. Shika's studies in the Kathak style began in earnest in 1999 when she became a student at the Kala Darshan Institute of Classical Music and Dance under the personal tutelage of Sri Manesh Maharaj. Manesh Ji has remained her guru ever since and continues to mentor her performances, helping Shika to come ever closer to the artistic perfection that she strives for. Little more to your right. Yeah, perform it there. Manesh, it is a pleasure to see you on Mela again. Same here. You've been working with Shika for quite some time. How did that relationship come about? I first met Shika while doing theatre production. She was dancing prior to that, but when she found out that I was teaching Kathak especially, all her dreams came true to learn from a guru formally. She's my first graduate in Kathak dance, and I'm very proud to know that she's one of the very few dancers who has transcended that uh, graduation level to present something as beautiful as Atman uh, that we're about to see today. Shika, that looks amazing so far. You started dancing at quite an early age. Where did it all begin for you? I've come from a family of musicians, so dance was pretty natural to me, but I always yearned to learn an art form, something that was spiritual, and more grounding. And then you went on to open your very own dance school. My own Kathak school began when I relocated to Johannesburg and my husband Ashwin, he encouraged me. And this year marks the 10th year of me teaching classical Kathak and Kauteng. Not only are you a dance teacher, but you also have a degree in psychology. When I run my dance school, I come across many students that has difficult lives. As the life is very lonely, it's high demands. And this degree is helping me help those children. Tell me a little bit more about the dance that you're going to be performing today. Atman the Search is based on the five elements, which is known as the Panchabhutas. In this world that we live in, everything is made out of balance and each one has to work in unison with each other. Each element, I find my God in there through my dance. All right, I know you have to go get dressed, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and then we'll come chat to you when you're almost done. Thank you. Costume, makeup and jewellery follow traditions dating back over two millennia and all form part of the transformation of the individual into the dancer. Shika, you are looking stunning. <laughs> all, almost there, right? Almost there, almost. <laughs> what is the most important part of your makeup? The eyes are the windows to the soul. It's important for a dancer to enhance and bring that out. Now, of course, you also do the painting of the hands and the feet. What does that represent? When you decorate your hands and feet, it's a representation of Mother Lakshmi. And red being the color of fertility. When you are there in front of the audience, they must see the mother within you. 
Now from the full transformation of makeup and costume, then goes the jewelry and the bells. How important are the bells? Kathak bells form part of an instrument as well for the dancer to bring out the beats in the song. When you're a child, you start off with at least 25. As you get older and physically can handle it, then you increase it, but the minimum is 100 per leg for an adult. All right, well, I'm gonna leave you to it because I can see you doing the finishing touches and we'll see you on stage. Yes, thank you. A solo performance such as this is an intensely spiritual experience and a blessing is invoked before the performance begins. In this case, Shika's solo was titled Atman, which can be translated as soul. The central theme of this particular recital was the immortal soul's efforts to liberate itself from the limitations of the physical world while searching for the divine. As is customary, a form of pure dance called Nirta was performed first, focusing on technique, footwork, gestures and turns, with the tempo gradually accelerating. <laughs> The Nurta was followed by the Nurtia, exploring the spiritual theme while telling the story. Shika's solo recital was an inspiration to her students. It was so exciting to see her come so far and so amazed to see her showing her life with everyone. She's radiant, uh, she takes charge of the stage. I like wanted to cry watching my teacher dance, that's how powerful it is.